The plan proposes to turn the mostly vacant, boarded-up downtown buildings fronting Washington Avenue into a mecca of tree-lined streets and towering office buildings. Five blocks of the waterfront, not already used by the shipyard, is slated for prime residential development in the hopes that people, the lifeblood of any prosperous city, can be lured back downtown to live and work. There are also included in the scheme some plans for hotels and a city-owned cultural center. However, the kingpin in the whole picture is the city's largest employer, the shipyard. It is generally acknowledged that if they don't participate, it may be difficult to convince other businesses to set up headquarters downtown in the many office buildings the plan includes. In a show of solidarity, the Housing and Redevelopment Commission and the City Council of Newport News both approved in concept the Newport Center Redevelopment Plan this evening. The 10-year plan proposes a full-scale revamping of the downtown area to the tune of $276 million. At tonight's City Council meeting, the public was invited to offer comment on the project, which was universally praised. Chamber of Commerce spokesman Erwin Drucker praised the recognition of the shipyard as a pivotal point in the plan. I hope and feel confident that the shipyard will exercise its corporate responsibility toward the community in which it is housed. Drucker said the redevelopment project would be good for the whole peninsula, but others cautioned the council to be prepared to make tough and possibly unpopular decisions as the project moves forward. Only one speaker urged the council to get more input from taxpayers, but he too found the concept exciting. The opinions expressed here tonight are almost without exception in support of the Newport Center project, so much so that if enthusiasm were dollars, the project would be built by now. In Newport News, Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.